Hi everyone. Hmm, is it windy today? Is it windy enough for me to fly a kite? How could you find out if it will be windy tomorrow? Why is it important to be able to predict the wind or other parts of the weather like the temperature or rain? Predicting the weather, uh, if it will be hot or cold, sunny or rainy, it helps us to know how we should get dressed in the morning. Predicting the wind is important because while a light breeze can be refreshing, okay, but the strong winds can knock down tree branches and power lines and even cause damage to buildings. For instance, in the news article on 2nd of April, we read that there were about 301 houses that were damaged or destroyed because of the strong winds and rain. Okay, and this was in the province of Batampang. So, it is very important for us to be able to know, okay, because predicting high winds in advance can give people enough time to prepare. Okay, for instance, securing loose objects, postponing some activities like going out on a boat ride or even riding a bike or moving to a safer area if the winds will be dangerously high. So how can we predict the weather using our senses? Is it because of the wind that blows my hair? Okay. Or are there reliable patterns in the weather that can make it easier to predict? Now students, you might be able to be familiar because of the geographical region that you're in. Okay. Uh, now is the time, or in March and April, it should be about the dry and hot season. But occasionally, you will experience strong winds and even heavy rains. Okay, so if you see dark clouds outside, that might mean it's going to rain soon, isn't it? So who are these people who will study the weather for their jobs? How do they study the weather? And how do they make predictions? In this project, okay, we are going to make an instrument to measure wind speed. And we're going to build an anemometer. Anemometer. Okay, and this will help us okay, have a good gauge of the wind speed that might happen through the day. Okay. okay, we will start to make our own anemometer. And these are the items that you need to have. You need to have about five paper cups. It can be plastic cups. Okay, and then uh, a pencil, but the pencil must have the rubber tip. Okay, you need to have a pin. Right? and then a single hole puncher and then two straws okay so first of all we're going to take one paper cup and then we're going to use the hole puncher and then we're going to punch four holes in the cup just below the rim just below the rim okay for younger students uh, you might want to have your parents help you with this okay so one here just below the rim okay and then another below it so that i will be able to form a t shape Okay, T-shape. Okay, next one here. And just beneath it. Alright, so you can see it's a T-shape. Okay, so now we're going to put two straws through the holes. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, across to the other. Okay. All right, okay, now I'm gonna use a sharpened pencil. Okay, I'm gonna poke a hole in the center at the bottom of the cup. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Center, okay, I'm gonna poke it through, okay. The hole puncher, and then we will punch two adjacent holes in each of the four cups, like this, okay. The first one, then adjacent to it, two holes, can you see that? Four. Okay, so we're gonna take this cup back again, okay, and then we're gonna push the end of the straws through the two holes in each one of the cups, okay, and make sure the cups are all facing in the same direction. All right, so how is it gonna be done? This way. This is how it looks like. Alright, 
We make sure that the four cups they are facing the same direction. Right. Okay, so now what's gonna happen? How are you gonna make it uh, work and spin? Okay, so I will be using the pencil now. I'm gonna push it through the base here. Okay, you see it gone through. Then I'm gonna use the pin okay, to secure the pencil with the straw or the straw to the pencil. So you have your monitor.